Hi there, your computer friend Connie here. Have you ever wondered if someone's changed your file in Microsoft Teams? You know, being that Teams is a sharing program, everything that's in there is shareable with other people. Are you sometimes curious if someone's changing the file and you didn't know it changed? Well, there's alerts and notifications you can have set up on your file so that you actually get notified when something changes. So I'm going to show you that in this video, how you can be alerted when a file changes in Microsoft Teams. And actually the same principle applies to SharePoint because it really is coming from SharePoint that this is happening. So let me take you right in there. I'm in my Teams app right now. I'm in my instructors team under my training channel. I'm in the folder called manual manuals for training. And let's say I want to keep track of if somebody updates the Teams training manual. So what I can do is if I go to the three dots within Teams, there's nothing really in here that's letting me keep track of that, right? I can check out this, this, uh, or have somebody else can check out this, this uh, file, but it's not alerting me. So how you go to the alert feature is you actually have to open this up in SharePoint because that's the program that has the alerts for you. So go to open in SharePoint. And that's just the button at the top there. So you can see I have that exact same list of files in my SharePoint here and to now I have more choices. So if I go to those three dots within SharePoint and click on them, longer menu, and one of the options in this menu is alert me. So I can do that for this one file, or I can actually do it for all the files in this folder if I wanted to. I'm just gonna pick this one file to start with just so you can see how it works. So go to alert me and then you get lots of choices here. So it's saying alert me when this particular file changes and it's going to send an email to this person. So that's me. Um, it could, I could put other people's email addresses in there or other people's names that are members of this particular team. And now how do I want to be, um, how do I want to be alerted? Email message makes sense. Um, text message does not make sense to me. I don't want to get text messages every time someone changes a file. That'd be too much. So this one you probably want to change because anything changes, that means you're even keeping track of when you change something. You want to email yourself, which kind of seems a little silly to me. Um, so I'd probably say someone else changes the document. Uh, or of course, you've got the choice of maybe someone else changes a document created by you. So you don't necessarily care if um, somebody else created a doc. And sorry, this might be more applicable if you were doing the whole folder. This one file that I'm talking about, I'd probably know did I create it or did somebody else create it. But if I was doing a whole folder, this would make more sense here. So who and when to send the alerts. So you, so you want this happening as the second it happens or do you want it every day you get alerts or every week and you even can pick a time here. So if I said send a weekly summary of all the changes, then you can say what time. So so those are your choices. Uh, you know, might want to experiment with this and see how much email you're going to end up getting. It might be too much, uh, but uh, if you're picking a file or two, it shouldn't be too bad, right? So, so we're going to say OK to this. And so now if anybody changes that file, I will be alerted of that change. So let's just show you uh, what happens when you turn this alert on. I received an email right away from SharePoint saying that this alert has been turned on and it's going to operate based on the settings that I set for it. All right, so whether you're in Teams or you're in SharePoint, so if I, I'll go back to Teams just so you can see it's the same screen. When you change a file in there, uh, or sorry, when somebody else changes a file in there, you will be notified. Um, so thanks for watching. I'm going to do another video kind of with the opposite view where you can actually create a notification so that when you change a file, you ask for approval from somebody else. So it's called a workflow that you would create. Uh, so that video will be uh, in the link below, but uh, this one is all about you being notified. So hopefully that helps. Thanks. Bye-bye.